Okay, let's uh, wrap up black holes and what they are, and I've explained them really simply. And that a black hole is a point at which a mass married with a magnitude is divorced completely from magnitude, whereby which acceleration ends up toppling and dominating over force and motion, i.e. magnitude, excuse me, magnetism. Humanity is not yet intellectually developed to understand the principles of space versus counter space. Humanity is not yet intellectually evolved enough to understand what Nikola Tesla understood, and that is that space has no properties. The reification of space and time as things that do things that act on things by the idiot Einstein and Nikola Tesla and the greatest minds in the world said that uh, that uh, um, that Einstein was an idiot and he was. Uh, Tesla called Einstein a fuzzy haired crackpot and a lunatic and Tesla specifically referred to quantum mechanics and general relativity as a mass of errors and nonsense and he uh, see Nikola Tesla created the modern world uh, the uh, the idiot and a-hole Einstein had a crazy crack uh, crack uh, crack brain theory that uh, has been mostly disproven. So I'm kind of going to go with the guy that created the modern world and actually understood field theory. But Nikola Tesla never told you what the hell a black hole was. And uh, have you checked the link below for Stephen J. Carruthers? While he fully and uh, very intelligently totally dismantles general relativity and quantum mechanics as far as what a black hole is he himself never tells you what a black hole is Stephen J. Carruthers is an extremely accomplished highly educated scientist who sees through all the Swiss cheese nonsense of relativity and quantum mechanics as far as black hole theory nonsense him and Stephen Hawking, I mean Stephen Hawking was a, is a complete fool right along with uh, Einstein. People love him because he's a poor crippled guy that basically can't do anything anymore, but I've got his books. I've read his books. I've basically got every book ever written on field theory. I've been studying field theory since I was a teenager. I'm sorry, but the guy's an idiot. I always know what people understand or how wise or intelligent they are by the stuff they recommend you read. It's like, well, what do you read? What's your recommended material on the subject matter? Very easy to determine what somebody is. If someone mentions Stephen J. Carruthers, my eyes will peek up. If someone mentions something like Plotinus or A.K. Kumaraswamy, some of these are great intellectual giants throughout history, then I'm interested in what they have to say. But anyway, that's a slightly off topic. What is a black hole? Let's talk about the center of something. Let's talk about actual... Uh, the true definition of a very simplex field mechanics and what we understand th supposedly about gravitation and magnetism. Let's talk about the center of something. The center of X, there is never X. The center of gravity, there is no gravity. At the center of magnetism, there is no magnetism. This isn't my theory or belief. This is a hardcore fact. This is the universal constant that human beings do not grasp, which is at the center of the world's most powerful magnet, if you were to put a Gauss meter there, and this has been done, there is a zero Gaussian flux, no magnetism, i.e. the plane of inertia. All things with magnitude have magnitude only resultantly as borrowed by and totally from magnetism. The center of gravity, there is zero gravity. If you're able to take a pod to the center of the Earth, there would be zero gravity. At the center of the pull of gravity, there is zero gravity. Gravity itself does not exist. Obviously, Things fall, you know, if you get dropped out of an airplane, you're going to fall and die. I'm not talking about the principle of gravity doesn't exist. I'm saying as an autonomous field modality, there is absolutely no such thing as gravity. If advanced aliens were to land on the Earth and they were to examine our ideas of field theory, they would laugh at us and probably get back in their spaceships and go, there's a bunch of idiots down here. That which we call <laughs> magnetic attraction which is coherent, is the exact same thing as gravity. The only difference is field coherency. There is absolutely no such thing as an autonomous field modality that we call gravity. It does not exist as an autonomous different entity. To think that gravity is one thing and magnetism is another and dielectricity or electrostatics are three different things is absolutely asinine as a moron who thinks that water is one thing, steam is another thing, and ice is another thing. 
Humans are not yet intellectually evolved enough to understand these very, very, very basic principles, and they're not hard to grasp. Or maybe they are. Depends on who you are. So, all things with magnitude have magnitude as borrowed from magnetism. The center of gravity, there is no gravity. The center, I've got a, a pair of uh, super magnets right over here. They're stuck together. Okay, you actually place a Gauss meter between those two. Once you bring them close to you, will notice that that then becomes the plane of inertia. You can take magnetic viewing film on the side of any magnet. You will see a bright line that is the plane of inertia. You could take, some, take a magnet and slice it up a million billion times like a hunk of salami. Each slice will have a quote-unquote north pole and south pole. There's no such thing as polarity. It's literally the inverse of counter space. So what the hell is a black hole? Let's understand what the hell that definition even means. Black what? A hole? You know, what is a hole? Well, a hole is apparently a hollow place in a solid body or surface. Oh, really? Space is neither a body nor does it have a surface. Space has absolutely no properties. We only deem a black hole to be a black hole due to its influence on other things resultantly. We can never see it. A black hole has no magnitude and no Cartesian existential existence whatsoever. It has none. The threshold by which acceleration is dominated over force and motion, i.e. magnetism, is what defines a black hole. When a supermassive star burns off all its fuel and it starts creating iron, ooh, ferromagnetism, and what happens is there is a cascade of polarization, and when that happens in a supermass, once coherency is set up in that iron, in a supermass of iron, then acceleration dominates over magnetism, and the mass absolutely vanishes from the universe. By vanishes, I mean it has no existential, no Cartesian reality. Mass and magnitude, which are intrinsically from our understanding, our stupid understanding of stupid humans, mass and magnitude are both the same thing. doesn't matter how small it is or how big it is, all mass has magnitude. This is not the case. When you have a supermass where acceleration dominates magnetic divergence, then mass and magnitude are completely divorced from each other. And that is a brain block, a brain fart to the unevolved mind of the common human intellect. It doesn't make sense, but it absolutely makes perfect sense. Mother Nature works off only two things, force and motion, inertia and acceleration. Very simple, centrifugal divergence, centripetal convergence, capacitance, resistance, permeability, permittivity. The universe is that damn simple. Math is a human contrivance, is a form of bean counting, okay, to measure things. Mother Nature doesn't use math at all. Now, you're going to quote me the ancient uh, Platonist and Pythagorean that's, uh, that uh, says all who are ignorant of uh, geometry. They're actually talking about the actual geometry of the universe. They're not talking about math. There's a huge difference between math and the ancient uh, Greek Platonist, uh, Platonic arithmos. You know, in human understanding, there's no difference. Like brain and consciousness, the ancients had a huge difference between brain and consciousness. Human beings in English, we don't. Brain, consciousness, kind of the same. Mind and con no. Huge difference between arithmos and math. But not anymore. They mean the same thing now. But that's because humans have de-evolved intellectually. We're technologically advanced in a kind of way, but we're... Uh, we are, have uh, de-evolved uh, so far as wisdom and true comprehension. So likewise, when a supermassive non-Cartesian inertia mass reaches a critical density, matter itself is formed along the angular geomagnetic precession in a polarized jet of matter. You ever seen uh, galactic jets? This is where galactic jets come from. This is then the centripetal point of inertia, which is inverted and becomes the hyperboloid of the creation of matter, which we call the galactic jet. So, the center of the galaxies, we have these uh, black holes, for lack of a better term. They're not actually holes, and they're not actually black. There's nothing there by which to measure them to call them either black or a hole. To have a hole, you have to have a hole in something, like a hole in this table. But space has no properties. Time has no properties. These are nothing other than uh, fantasies of creation, of human intellection, that we think space is something, or time. Time is only a measure of the passing of magnitudes. All current uh, Maxwellian field theories are vectors with time expression relations 
cause and effect. But that doesn't tell you what the hell a field is. There's not one branch of science anywhere in this world due to uh, the inferior intellect of uh, average human minds that has ever given you a definition, a true denotation of what the hell a field is in principle. A field has no quantity. Everything is fields and fields are not particles. No one has ever told you what the hell a field is. You can go look in any damn book you want, but you will find no definition of a field anywhere. Period. A black hole is a region of space-time. This is the bad, this is the, inc this is the explanation the morons will give you. So this is untrue. A black hole is a region of space-time exhibiting such strong gravitational effects that nothing including particle, electromagnetic radiation, light can escape. A black hole is a region? It's not a region. It has no Cartesian value. Space-time? Space has no properties. We only know a quote-unquote black hole by its influence upon other masses. Okay, it's called a black hole due to the ignorance of man. A hole is denotatively the absence of X which has an attribute of acceleration, down the hole, if you will. It is non-Cartesian, is trans-Euclidean. A hole, supposedly, is a hollow place in a solid body or surface. A black hole. Cartesian effects upon Cartesian matter by a trans-Euclidean entity whose acceleration threshold, okay, whose acceleration threshold has exceeded its magnetic force divergence value, okay? Force in motion, inertia and acceleration. When inertia and acceleration dominates and passes the threshold of the power of magnetism, it will vanish from this visible universe. It's that simple. Mother Nature works off pressures. Mother Nature doesn't deal in math. Mother Nature is not a crack whore with a calculator. Math is a human contrivance dedicated to bean counting. Counting things. I'm going to measure this, I'm going to measure that, we're going to measure the cause of this. That's fine. I'm not anti-math. I'm anti-BS. Mother Nature does not work in math. She works off pressure differentials. Pull the plug on the drain on your bathtub. The water goes down in a vortex. You know, it's very simple. Water flows down. That's how Mother Nature works. Mother Nature don't use a calculator. It's all about pressures. When one pressure exceeds another, when force and motion and inertia and acceleration go tipsy-topsy, then we can have a supermassive entity that has no magnitude. Mass and magnitude then become divorced. Completely. We have a supermass that has zero magnitude. Can you get that through your thick skull, humanity? Everything we have, this microphone, table, my fat, ugly face. Mass, magnitude. Now we have to comprehend what the hell a black hole is. A black hole is a point by which acceleration threshold has exceeded magnetic divergence and mass becomes one thing, and magnitude is completely divorced from mass. So now we have a supermass that has no Cartesian existential reality. It has no magnitude. We have a supermass that has no magnitude. That's like saying I have an entity right here that's the total mass of the Earth within this region right here. Of course, if it was, I'd get sucked in, right? <laughs> But it had, you know, I can't see it, but it's super, super massive. I mean, it weighs uh, 10 trillion, trillion, trillion tons, and it's right here. Well, I don't see anything. It has no Cartesian. It has no X, Y, Z vectorization. Wow, that's beyond human comprehension, but it is no s more difficult, no more complex than mass and magnitude are divorced because acceleration has passed the threshold by which magnetism has been dominated and force, uh, excuse me, inertia and acceleration uh, has dominated over uh, force and motion, i.e. magnetism. So a black hole is the exact same acceleration curvature without Cartesian magnitude as, while it's impossible to exist at that size, an equal mass with Cartesian magnitude. This is what people also don't understand. The only hole is in the absence of any Cartesian magnitude. There is no hole in space or time. Space has no properties. A hole in what? Space? Are you kidding me? Have you lost your damn mind? This is how intellectually unevolved human minds and comprehensions are. And so this, folks, is what a black hole is. Let me repeat it again very simply for you. A black hole is a mass whereby which magnitude and mass have been divorced and acceleration 
We here we have magnetic force in motion, which makes a mass. Acceleration is so great that it ends up dominating over force in motion. And so now you have a non-Cartesian entity. It, we have a supermass with no magnitude. Yes. Mother Nature is that simple. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two or a big juicy pizza because uh, I have very few pleasures these days. A nice greasy pizza is always one of them. <laughs> Catch you later. I love pizza. I was just kidding about that. No, I was not. Catch you later. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.